Welcome, dear friends and believers. This is Prophet Michael, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's in the late evening, but the Holy Spirit, after I got back from my late evening walk, speaking to me and asked me if I would start working with you on Romans chapter 2. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in obedience, to you, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, baptize these videos you're asking me to do from Romans. Baptize them in your Holy Spirit and fire them. Help me, dear Father. Speak through me. Amen. <clears throat> well, I hope you've turned your Bibles to Romans chapter 2. And it opens up, <clears throat> therefore, O oh man, you are without excuse, everyone who judges, for in which you judge another, you condemn yourself, since you who judge practice the same wrong. And we know that the judgment of Elohim, that means God Most High, God Almighty, the pluridity of God, is according to truth against those who practice such wrongs. And do you think, O oh man, you who judge those practicing such wrongs and doing the same that you shall escape the judgment of Elohim? Or do you despise the riches of his kindness and tolerance and patience, not knowing that the kindness of Elohim leads you to repentance? But according to your hardness and your unrepentant heart, you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of Elohim. Who shall render to each one according to his works? Now right there, let me comment quickly. According to his works, I've heard so many ministers over the years talk about we're saved by grace and we are saved by grace. The law, the loving law of God, guides us so that on a daily basis we're, lead, we're leading others by our example to live a better life and to do what is kind and good. And if we're not doing it, we're going to be judged. Everlasting life to those who, by persistence in good work, seek for the esteem, your translation probably says glory, and respect and incorruptibility. So this is why so many ministers say that you cannot get into heaven by your works. But amazingly enough, by your works, your deeds and words, you're going to be judged. Now, in the book of John, it says, faith without works is dead. So we got to ignore these ministers that are telling you about you're only saved by grace and there's nothing you can do to help yourself get into heaven. Now, it's true. You're saved by the grace and sacrifice of our Messiah. And that sounds like a contradiction, but it's not really. Once you are absolutely saved and reborn, you're no longer going to allow yourself to be evil in any way. You're going to be like Messiah, and that's what your goal is going to be. It's always be like him. Always ask yourself, what would Messiah say? What would Messiah do? What would Messiah think? What would Messiah feel? 
What in this situation would Messiah put into action? Affliction and distress on every human being working what is evil of the Judite first and also the Greek. Meaning, God first recognized that it was the people, and they call their father Abraham. They always refer back to Abraham. And all of those people forward, because from Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yahakab, or his name was changed to Israel, the 12 sons of Jacob, one of them was called Judah. And Judah is where the name Jewish or the Jew, Judah tribe or Judite tribe comes from. So, but the esteem, respect, and peace to everyone working what is good, to the Judite first and also to the Greek. All right. <laughs> we're going to stop right there. So we're at verse 11. And let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to repent daily and even nightly. Forgive us for all our wrong thoughts, feelings, and deeds, and actions. Forgive us for saying the wrong things. Wash us in your sacred blood, Emmanuel, Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Teach us, train us, and I know you do not give up on us because you yourself and the Holy Scriptures back you up and say, you are forever there at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. Messiah, you know I and all of the people listening are a work in progress, working to be better every day and every night of our lives, to be more and more and more and more like you. Wash us in your holy blood, baptize us in the fire of the Holy Spirit. As John said, the one who comes after me will, I baptize you in water, but the one who comes after me baptizes you in the Holy Spirit and the fire. Baptize us, purify us, and teach us and train us so that we can live daily and nightly a better life with you and glorify through you the sacred creator father who is infinitely merciful so that we can stay in his mercy grace and faith amen well friends if you prayed that prayer and said amen you're definitely living a better life and on your way to what I call the rebirth, the renewed life. Now, and when you are fully reborn and living the rebirth life, as Paul describes, you are a new creation. And what does that creation come from? It is a direct, new, renewed creation from the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit a direct creation, a renewed creation by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's incredible. It's empowering. Until we meet again, happy trails to you. I love you. You can always call us at 702-588-9237, or you can text us, and we will get back to you. God bless you all. Happy trails to you. Amen.